makeup tutorial even though where I live it is still hot as hell it's like 90 degrees outside right now but yeah anyways if you want to see this look just keep on watching so I'm just gonna start off by taking the morphe 350 palette and using the white shade in there and I'm just gonna dust that all over my lid and all over my brow bone just to set the area before I start using more shadows And now I'm taking a light brown shade and I'm just going to dust that kind of in my crease area just to use it as a transition color. It's going to really help when I start er, to blend out all the other shadows. And I'm taking that dark brown shade and just putting it in my crease and I'm taking another dark brown shade and I'm just putting that in my crease as well. I'm taking this reddish brown shade, it's kind of like a cranberry brown, and I'm just dusting that um, all over the other shadows I just put down, but it's just going to help create a different kind of color, and it's going to look really nice towards the end. And now I'm taking that coffee brown shade, and I am putting that in my crease and I'm keeping this one more precise than the others I'm putting that in my crease and my outer third of the eye this is really gonna give your eye depth and kinda create a cool effect and then I'm just blending out the harsh lines with a fluffy brush and I'm taking the dark brown shade right next to the coffee brown and I'm just kind of going over that a little bit just to kind of give it a different color. And now I'm just blending out any harsh lines and I am kind of adding more shadow as I go just to kind of darken it up a little bit and get it to the desired color. And now I'm taking, it comes off as a red, kind of like a reddish tone shade. It's a shimmer shade and I'm spraying that with Fix Plus so I can put it all over my lid and it will be more pigmented. You could, don't have to use Fix Plus, you can use pretty much any setting spray and it will make your um, eyeshadow more pigmented, but that's just what I had laying around. And I did dip into the shadow one more time just to darken it up a little bit, and I did get my brush wet, brush wet one more time. And now I'm taking that dark brown coffee shade again and I'm just blending it out to make sure it doesn't look harsh or uneven. And I'm just using a different brush. I just switched brushes. The pencil brush worked better for me than the blending brush did. And now I'm taking that white shade again and I'm just kind of cleaning up around my brows and kind of highlighting a little bit. And now I'm taking my Milani 2-in-1 Concealer Foundation and I'm just going to swipe that all over my, or put that all over my face and I'm going to buff it into the skin. This foundation is really good. If um, even if you do have oily skin, I mean, it, it's, um, finish is a little bit dewy, but you just have to use a pretty good mattifying primer. I use the Cover FX, um, with anti-acne treatment in it, and I use, like, a blurring, um, moisturizer, and it work. it stays pretty good all day. And 
And you don't want to swipe when you're putting on your foundation just because it will leave streaks and it will make it all uneven. So you'd really want to pat it into the skin. The only place I really ever swipe is around my eye area when I'm trying to clean up my eyeshadow. But I'll just go in with a Real Techniques beauty sponge and I'll clean it up. You'll see in the video. And this shade is pretty yellow. It doesn't really match my neck. No foundation matches my neck. So I make sure to bring it down on my neck a little bit just so it blends a little bit better. And here's my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm just buffing away any streaky foundation. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just applying this all over the parts of my face I want to highlight. And the video did cut out when I was buffing it into my skin, but I just take a beauty or a Real Techniques beauty sponge and I just kind of pat it in and that's that. It also cut out on my contour, so you'll just see me kind of going over it a little bit. But I did use the Anastasia Contour Kit, and I used um, the shade Havana, and then I used a Wet n Wild um, setting, or banana powder. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics Professional Blush Palette, and I'm using the peachy shade with the brownish shade. And I'm just applying that all over the apples of my cheeks. Next, I'm taking my Carly Bible palette and I'm taking my favorite highlight shade of all time. And it's the second one in her palette, the one that I've used the most. And I'm just applying that on the high points of my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose. Now I'm taking my Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the shade Chihuahua, and I'm just applying that all over my lips. It's kind of weird they named a lipstick color Chihuahua when it's melted lipstick, like melted Chihuahua. It's kind of bizarre. And now I'm just taking my Fix Plus and I'm setting my whole face. I don't usually use this to set my face because it doesn't prolong my makeup, but it makes it look less powdery. And now I'm just going in with the Cranberry Brown shade and then the kind of Coffee Brown shade just to go underneath my eyes to kind of smoke it out a little bit. And I did apply mascara and eyeliner, I just didn't put that part in the video. So that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see me do more voiceovers or actually talk through a tutorial, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you're notified of when I post videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That is blissful and blooming. Bye.